Don't blink, it's your boy. Yank, welcome to the real Cabo Show. I think you're welcome are having a fantastic freaking day. Uh, morning, evening, whatever you want to call it. Hope you have a good one. Um, today is a special subject. Today is it's a continuation. It's a part two of a video we made a couple of months ago about coping with ADHD, right? And they're not using it just as an excuse. And I was watching this documentary. It's actually on YouTube. I, I wish I remember the name of the channel, the name of the video, but it was... Um, we were talking to a functioning, a functioning alcoholic. And then on the same channel, we had a fo- uh, I'm sorry, I just made a video on Chester Bennington. And I'm pretty sad, you know? And um, he, he just made a video on that. He just made a video on uh, working with Toxmac. And those people, I'm sorry guys, I should have taken a break, but fuck it, we already started. Um, and on those videos, you, you saw people using drugs, using alcohol, right? And they were functioning. And we just talk about Chester, and Chester, we're talking about, we were talking about depression, right? With Chester. And I was able to get married and have kids. Should, should make this video, bro, I'm emotional right now. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come in something. See, I used, I, I, two weeks ago, right, I was talking about how Cobra GFS taught me about uh, being, co- coping with my neural divergence, right? I have a friend who's constantly using, and it's weird because I, I used to not judge, but I used to be, I used to get annoyed at this person, my friend, um, because she was always using autism as an excuse, right? And uh, I was like, dude, stop using that as an excuse, but I was using ADHD as an excuse a lot. So we talk about coping, and now we're going a step further, working with, being functional with it. For example, um, there's this, um, there's these people who got autism who are genius, right? And they're genius for a certain thing. They're genius for calculating. If you look at one of the oldest movie I saw, who was Raining Man, who was able to count things in a fastest fashion, right? And uh, it it is weird because like those people learn to learn to be functioning with, with it. It's it's not so much about coping with the sickness. Coping. Oh my God, this is complicated. Um, I would say. Using this as an excuse is bottom barrel. Um, it would be like, dude, you're not doing it right. The middle of the barrel would actually be like, hey, I'm coping with it, right? The way to get out of the situation, the way to win in the situation is to function with it. I often say that, oh, ADHD is one of the best things that happened to me because I'm able to do so many videos, so many different content. I'm able to work hard, right? And there's time where ADHD can take control, right? And I'm not able to work. I got, I got the tower. You see, we're doing the tower here. We're doing the tower here. We need the tower inside because it's it's um, charging. But yeah, um, when you understand that, when you understand that um, I, I'm functioning with it, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to be able to say, hey, I got this, right? I'm different. That doesn't make me less. doesn't make me more. doesn't make me less. Functioning with a, a neurodivergence. And I want to, per- like, for example, if you're... Um, it's, it's a tough subject because I can only talk for myself, right? So I can talk about, I don't have a, a lot of uh, dependence. I don't drink, well, I'm drinking wine right now, but we're celebrating for 6,000 followers. I have an addiction to food. This addiction to food doesn't really, um, doesn't hinder me. The biggest addiction I have is to work, to make content. That hinders me because it takes a lot of time. At the same time, you're doing something, you're working to, towards your goal. That's really a problem, right? Functioning, learning to function with what makes you. you. You feel that you're sad, you feel like you're depressed. Right? Learn to function with it. Learn to function that go outside, right? Learn to function about being able to talk with people, right? Um, use this, that's what you're... And it's, it's weird because it does seem like I'm talking about using a flaw as an advantage. I'm not saying that. It's learning to accept that this is it. And this is, again, the coping factor of your your addiction, your neurodivergence, your current mental state, current mental health, right? It has a lot to do with that, but learn to function with it. It's learning to say, hey, you know what? It's not gonna stop me. And I feel like we're, 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 we're so eager and so quick to say, hey, this stops me. Um, I'm in a mood, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm in a bad mood, right? Um, I'm, get, I'm getting a bit depressed. And say, okay, well, you understand that you're pushing yourself in the situation by not changing thing, right? You're pushing yourself into that corner where you really are depressed because you've been feeling depressed. There's this thing called placebo effect. And placebo effect is the thing of functioning with it. It's super beautiful. 
that documentary really changed my perception. I wish I had the name. I don't. Sorry, but it really changed my perception. See, um, functioning with it is understanding. Like, for example, right? I've been sleeping a lot lately. I've been sleeping a lot, and um, I could be mad at myself for sleeping so much, or I could be saying, you know what? Usually, you take time to relax. If you want to sleep, sleep. But when you're awake, you're working, right? I think to function with, right? And um, it's changing your mental state. Also, it's functioning. For example, the alcoholic. That was in the documentary. It was it was a, a beautiful thing because it was functioning with it. He knew he needed that drink. He knew he, knew he needed that, that alcohol in his system, right? So what he would do is he would he would make sure that he was able to do both. He was able to be functioning, right? And he was able to do alcohol. And the sad thing about that documentary, the really sad thing, the truth, is he was working because he wanted to get money to buy his alcohol. That's the truth. That's sad because... You shouldn't be working towards something and it's a poison to yourself. However, you're working. It doesn't matter your 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 why. It doesn't matter your why, your how, your what. That doesn't matter. The fact that you have a result matters. I always, always, always say nobody cares about where you are. People care about how, how you got there. Right? And I believe that you're, how you got there, it doesn't matter if you're, how you got there is perceived by some people, by a handful, as courageous or not. Um, see, I have an aunt, right? And that aunt, she uh, she started as a as a cashier in a store. It took her 30 years, but now she's the manager of the store. And people said, in, in her life, she was she was offered good position because they were seeing that loyalty. They were like, holy shit, this, this girl, she's loyal. And uh, people are, are, judged her for not making the good decision of leaving some places, you know? And uh, she she was afraid of change, which is our... She was really afraid of change. And uh, she mentioned that, I cannot move. I love this place. This is, where, this is my home, right? And uh, that was her... That was her... Being able to function with the fact that the fear of change, she said, I'm afraid of changing. I'm going to make the situation where I don't have to change the best possible. I've had a... Um, I've had a, a meeting with the government. I talked to you guys about it, right? And um, she was saying, she was asking people, who agree that losing your job is a good thing? And I was the only one that didn't raise his hand. And a lot of people raised their hand because she's a teacher, right? So she's just like, okay, well, we'll listen to her. We'll say yes if she says yes. And we'll say no if she says no. And even if that's one person, right, there's pure pressure to say, hey, why is that person answering this? I'm going to answer this. And, uh, See, she asked me, why don't you think it's a good thing? Why don't you think it's a good thing? And I was like, I like that job, right? I, I, I absolutely love that job, right? And um, I guess it's my fear of changing. I was functioning with a fear of changing. That fear of changing itself is also denial. Are you functioning because you're in denial? Or you're functioning with um, being fully aware of your situation, right? And it's completely different. See, I'm going to take a person that's cheating, right? They're married. They're cheating. They're, they're, they're afraid to leave their, 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 their partner because it's like, hey, i got a good relationship. They know the relationship is good, but they want more. So they're able to function in that wedding knowing that they're doing something that's wrong. So find, learning to function with something that you're doing is it's a good thing and a bad thing. You can, you can enable yourself a bad character. You can enable yourself a bad thing. I'm enabling myself to eat a lot of junk food because I'm like, you know what? We're going to be losing the weight. They're going to make a cool content with it. That's an excuse. That's an excuse. I'm using the fact that we're going to be able to make a lot of the content with it to justify my eating junk food. In a perfect, in a perfect world, we're not eating junk food. In a perfect world, we're, we're not following the strict diet, but we're, we're healthy. You see, this, this channel is about growing as a person. It's about giving, giving a good example. Giving a good example is losing weight. Of course, that's a good example. But understanding that you're giving an example where you're eating whatever you want, it's a negative example, right? Anywho, um, that's pretty much the video. I love you that you matter. I'll see you guys soon. Holy shit, the bees today. Um, we, we spilled some wine on the floor for Chester, and that wine is bringing bees. Shit.